for the love of money, that is, the greedy desire for it and the willingness to gain it unethically, is a root of all sorts of evil. And some, by longing for it, have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves through and through with many sorrows. The love of money means that a person reverences and adores his money just like the rich fool in Luke 12, 16-19 AMP. Then he told them a parable, saying, There was a rich man whose land was very fertile and productive. And he began thinking to himself, What shall I do, since I have no place large enough in which to store my crops? Then he said, This is what I will do. I will tear down my storehouses and build larger ones, and I will store all my grain and my goods there. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have many good things stored up, enough for many years. Rest and relax, eat, drink, and be merry, celebrate continually. His self-worth was in his possessions and not who he was in God. Flaunting what we have acquired, instead of thinking of the channels God wants it to flow toward, can begin a journey into idolatry. Daniel 4, 29-32 AMP shows us another example of Nebuchadnezzar as he worships the god of gold. It says, Twelve months later, he was walking on the upper level of the royal palace of Babylon. The king said thoughtfully, Is not this the great Babylon which I myself have built as the royal residence and seat of government by the might of my power? and for the honor and glory of my majesty. While the words were still in the king's mouth, a voice came, as if falling from heaven, saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to you it is declared, the kingdom has been removed from you, and you will be driven away from mankind, and your dwelling place will be with the animals of the field. You will be given grass to eat like the cattle, and seven periods of time will pass over you until you know, without any doubt, that the Most High God rules over the kingdom of mankind, and He bestows it on whomever He desires. Remember that Jehovah is a very jealous God. If we are not sensitive to what goes on in our minds, we may end up worshipping the God of gold, and this will hurt our relationship with Him. Psalms 24, 1, AMP says, The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness of it, the world, and those who dwell in it. Remember that the devil wants us to worship the God of gold, and as we worship the God of gold, we indirectly worship him. We must not fall for it, because there's nothing in the devil that is good. God is big enough to lead and bless us abundantly, even beyond our wildest imagination, like he did for Abraham. Genesis 24, 35, AMP The Lord has greatly blessed my master, and he has become great, wealthy, powerful. He has given him flocks and herds, and silver and gold, and servants and maids, and camels and donkeys. Abraham got so much more from God than any God on this earth could ever give, which is why God tells us to seek only who or what matters. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your love, grace and mercy that has always drawn me far from darkness and established my feet in your light. I am grateful for the privilege of walking with you because you are the one true God that gives liberty and sets me from bondage. Thank you for opening my understanding to see why a God of gold exists and exposing its traps to me. In the name of Jesus, I will not be captured by this demon, no matter how attractive the temptation is but my stand for godly obedience 
shall become stronger. Amen.